A quick announcement for if you want to take your trading to the next level. I recently started a profitable trading signal group in which I show you and I send signals of all of my trades. If you want to join this group or if you're interested in that, go check out the first link down in the description or in the pinned comment. What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto and uh, I hope you're doing great. I hope you're having a great uh, Tuesday it is. It feels way later in the week, doesn't matter. I uh, wanted to do a quick update on HBAR. I've been, have, have been covering this for the last four days, I believe. Um, but I still, um, I mean, we took some trades yesterday with some people from the community. Uh, there was also a trade sent in the uh, trade signal group on HBAR, which profited us. Um, so I thought it, was, it, it would be interesting to take a look at it. HBAR has been, or Hedera, I guess I should say, has been on a roll since uh, Friday, Thursday last week. And it's still quite bullish. As you can see, we just had a bullish breakout above 8.8 .8 cents, uh, which is amazing. Two days ago, we still found resistance at 10 cents, dropped down all the way to this major support level around 8, 7.9. There we took a buy order. I cashed out at around 8.5 cents, but as you can see, uh, it, it's still continuing. Um, the market circumstances for me were just too risky with the inflation rate. Um, and it's still quite risky. The inflation rate was actually quite negative, but what we're seeing right now in the markets is bullish momentum, all right? Which is a weird thing. It's quite a weird thing. The dollar strength index also doesn't know what it's doing yet. So the markets right now are very volatile and we don't know what's happening yet. Uh, but we're going to incorporate that into, an, into the analysis. What that does mean is that we cannot be too concrete. We're still really waiting for a direction from the market. Um, and it's, uh, it's very hard to assume a certain direction. So either bullish or bearish. We still have to await whether, for example, Bitcoin is going to hold 22,000, whether the dollar strength index is going to keep going up after finding support at 102.6. It all depends on that. For now, though, as I said, technically, we've broken above 8.8, .8, which is a great thing. So we are, I think, continuing up to 9.2 and 9.3 which is a minor key level just before 10 cents now we're going up to that level i think we'll find resistance there depends on the market but i think we will from there drop back down to this level between 8.9 and 8.8 .8 cents now if we can then find support there and hold it for at least like two three candles then i think we can continue to go up to 10 cents and then when we have reached 10 cents i uh, i need to do another update because as I said, and I really feel bad for saying this, but I need to know what the market is doing once we reach 10 cents. Um, only depending on that, I can actually decide or analyze whether we can break that and get up to our next price, uh, price target at around 11 cents or not. All right, so I'm sorry for that, but I have to be realistic. I mean, I, I, I will not lie to you and say, all right, we're going to break 10 cents and go up to 11. It just depends on the market. I'll keep you updated on that though. Um, but yeah, so... I think that's going to happen. Uh, as you can see, quite a lot of bullish momentum right now. Uh, find some resistance at 9.2, 9.3. If from that level, we are not able to hold 8.8, 8.9, and we'll drop down to, for example, 8.5, then it's more likely that we'll continue that whole drop down to 8 cents and perhaps even lower. Um, but then we will at least drop down to 8 and 7.9 cents again. And from there, probably find some bullish momentum and, and try again. Um, but yeah, th that could also happen again if, if right now the dollar strength index remains bullish, then this will happen. So it depends on the market, unfortunately. Quite bullish right now. Um, it, it would actually be amazing to, uh, the, the analysis is mainly over, but it, it would be amazing to actually uh, break through 9.2 and 9.3 now. If we get up to 10 cents right now, which I'm, I'm not expecting, but it could happen. It's crypto uh, in the end, and we just had a, had a major fundamental event. If that happens, we can actually pretty quickly break above 10 cents because that would actually indicate a lot of bullish momentum. Um, that would be really the most bullish uh, bullish scenario. But as I said, it's not something I expect. If it's um, if we break above 9.3, 9.4 now, uh, then expect something like this. But then I was wrong. All right. I just want you want you to be prepared for all scenarios. Um, for now, that's my analysis on HBAR. I'll be back with updates in the future. If you're interested in that, make sure to subscribe. Uh, but for now, enjoy your Tuesday and bye.